the Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited the Queen at Windsor Castle on their way to The Hague, the Netherlands, to attend the Invictus Games this month. The Games were founded by Harry in 2014 in order to provide a space for serving and ex-military personnel who have been injured to compete in a raft of sports. The stop in the UK marked Harry and Meghan's first joint visit to the country since they stepped back as senior royals two years ago. After announcing their plans to leave their roles behind, they moved to North America, and currently live in Montecito, California, with their two children, Archie, two and ten-month-old Lilibet. Reports suggest that they have been invited to appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, but will not have a formal role. Palace officials are said to be working on the assumption that non-working members of the royal family, including Harry, Meghan and Prince Andrew will be invited to some events. The Platinum Jubilee is due to be celebrated with a four-day weekend of events from June 2nd to 5. Now, Express.co.uk has asked readers whether they believe the pair should, in fact, be present at the celebrations. In a poll that ran from 9am on Tuesday April 19th to midday on Wednesday April 20th, Express.co.uk asked, Do you think Meghan and Harry will return to the UK to attend the Platinum Jubilee celebrations? In total 8,709 people cast their votes with the overwhelming majority 91%, 7,920 people, voting, no, Meghan and Harry will not return to the UK for the Platinum Jubilee. A further 7%, 606 people, said, yes, and just 2%, 183 people, said they did not know either way. In the hundreds of comments below the accompanying article readers shared their views on Meghan and Harry's potential return to the UK for the Platinum Jubilee. Many thought that the Jubilee should be focused on the Queen with username KT58 writing, the Jubilee is about the Queen's reign, not her family. Username Gobsmacker said, if they couldn't attend Prince Philip's memorial then they shouldn't attend the Jubilee celebrations, the focus should be on the Queen. Username MyView2Day said, the Queen's Jubilee is about the Queen, and not Harry and Meghan. And username Fetlick1 said, no they should not be on the balcony. It's the Queen's day to shine. Others expressed their concerns about the Queen underestimating public opinion of Meghan and Harry. Username Sanjay P said, Her Majesty the Queen will have underestimated the public mood against Harry and Meghan, if an invitation to attend the celebration is extended to them. Username Aquamarine said, The Queen needs to decide if Shush is the Queen or the Granny. In this case, she can't be both. Her duty is to the country, the people and public opinion. And username Flory50 said, I hope this is just a PR stunt. There are enough royals to fill that valve. Some felt strongly about Harry and Meghan not being part of the public celebrations. Username G said, their attendance shouldn't even be up for discussion. The simple answer is no, they should not take part in any public celebration. If the family wants them to help celebrate the Jubilee then it must be in a private capacity. No appearance on, no sitting with the working royals at any of the celebration. They stepped back. Likewise, username Chrissy D wrote, yes let them come as long as they do not appear on the balcony or anywhere in public. A spokesperson for the Sussexes said on Monday that they were not in a position to discuss future travel plans. Many members of the royal family, including Prince Charles and Prince William, are yet to Lilibet. In February Harry's attorney told the High Court in London that Harry does not feel safe bringing his children to the UK following the loss of his taxpayer-funded security.